Hey guys, it's Shikemi Olabisi, the farm lady, and you are welcome back to another amazing, interesting, and educative video. I know some of you know why I'm dancing today, but let's leave that till the end of today's video. So, as you all know, we are on our series, and today is going to be I think the second to the last training on this series on how to hatch catfish so for today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the milk from the meal that is the sperm sac also how to strip out the eggs from the female how to fertilize your eggs and then how to spread your eggs on the spawning net so before we continue, I want you to know this and know that it's very important. Before stripping out the eggs from your female broodstock, check the sperm of the male. Because most times you can't even tell if the male is good if you are not the one who raised those broodstock yourself. You know, most times we go out to buy the broodstock from the vendors. So if you can't really ascertain, oh, this broodstock is very good and will give me give me a very good sperm, then it's always best to what get two or three what male broodstock, so as to avoid story that touches the heart. Okay, because when you dissect the male, you are going to what check if the sperm is what is okay. So that is the first thing you have to do. Check if the sperm of the male you are using is okay. Once you're able to check and then you've seen that it's okay, then you can proceed what to stripping out your eggs. Do not strip your eggs before what checking if the sperm or the milk sac is okay. Ideally, a very good milk or sperm is usually what's milky in color. So if you're getting something around black, brown, please don't use it. Check the next meal, okay? And also, it's always good to what buy brood stock from a very very good source ask questions ask questions is very important don't just say oh i want to do production and then you just buy from anybody that is no good okay so ask questions ask those who have had successful what breeding section ask them okay where did you buy yours from can you link me up and all that so when you you get all that information is going to what reduce the stress on you and what ensure you get the perfect or the best what brood stock for that production so without wasting more of our time let's get right into the video so like i said earlier the first thing you have to do is to check the mail and ensure it has a good sperm as you can see here I'm using a new blade and I'm dissecting it I'm opening it up this process basically you need someone to help you hold it if you can't hold it yourself so that the fish is not going to jump off the table so right now I'm cleaning off any excess blood and I'm trying to locate the milk or the sperm sac it's usually two in number okay two in number as you can see one is already visible so i'm going to take that out and also take out the second milk sac or sperm sac so this is the process as you can see you have to be careful very careful when taking it out so you do not destroy it or cut it open in the process of taking it out. So there we have it, our two milk sac are out and we are just going to set this aside as you can see it, 
it is milky in color you can see it already from the outside so this is a very very good milk sack very good milk sack that will give us a great result so on to the next so here we are stripping out the eggs we are stripping out the eggs this process you're going to need the help of someone to help you hold the fish in place so i'm holding the head area with a wet towel and my friend here is actually my elder brother is helping me to hold the tail area so as to ensure the fish doesn't jump or move around so basically i'm pressing the egg sack we have one on the left one on the right so pressing it gently will what make the eggs come out into the bowl we've placed right beneath the fish so we are done now and then we move on to preparing the milk sack of course i know some people don't do this but this is how i do mine and if you've done it like this before you can drop a comment in the comment section let me know so basically for this aspect I get the milk, I wipe it off right, I get a small bowl and rinse it with saline water. That bottle contains what a saline solution. So I rinse it out first and then I pour a little quantity of saline water into this bowl and I get the blade and cut the milk sack open so as to drain out the sperm or the milk into the saline solution basically this is just to increase the surface area of the sperm okay so as to have it go round some people don't do it like this but this is how i do mine and then it has been working for me So now it's time to fertilize as you can see the eggs I'm pouring the sperm into the eggs gradually gradually and as you can see it's foaming that is to show the sperm is very good so you steer it gently gently you can use feather you can use a plastic spoon but you have to be careful so as not to destroy the eggs okay so basically the saline water i'm adding to it is just to put the live on hold okay more like i'm hibernating live here all right so basically this is what i'm doing here once this egg that is fertilized touches fresh water live begins okay live begins so that is it basically and also saline water will ensure your eggs do not stick together if you're not a pro please do this method all right so it's time to spread our eggs you spread it gently and ensure you spread it homogeneously that means the eggs shouldn't lap over each other or lap on each other that way it will be what very difficult for them to hatch out all right So guys, thank you so much for staying with me till this very moment. I'm going to be sharing with you um, a table that shows how long it will take what for the eggs to hatch. In our last video, I showed you a latency period table. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what an incubation table. An incubation table so you can know when to expect your eggs to start what hatching okay so here is the table as you can see it works with temperature basically once the temperature is high uh, once it's high then the the period of incubation is what's reduced when the temperature is low it takes a longer time for your eggs to what to hatch 
so this is the table as you can see it here yes so that's that is that and then thank you guys so much for staying with me to this very moment as you all know today is my birthday so happy birthday to me i'm a year older today and i just want to use this opportunity to thank you all so much for the support so far i wouldn't be here if not for you guys you guys have been the motivation you guys have been amazing so far getting feedbacks from you has just been amazing so thank you so much for the wishes for the gifts for everything i do do appreciate all and i love you thank you so much i remain your home girl she came your legacy the birthday girl <laughs> or should i dance for you guys you know today is my birthday happy birthday to me happy birthday to me <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me, yay. So till next time, thank you and bye for now.